Hello friends, this video is about the uh, Bris Minus Extant. Many people asked about it lately, and now I don't have the time to make it, so I put the price up to a thousand dollars. Well, that's mostly for the rich people. <laughs> but for the poor people, I tell you how to make it yourself. It's, well, it's a bit tricky, but the simple version is easy. This is with four glasses in, but it's not very useful. And this is with uh, three glasses in, that's most useful. And there is also a simple one with two glasses in. Two glasses give two sun, one bright and one weak. This with three glasses, well this with three glasses gives three suns, three suns and five weak ones. And the sun goes up in the morning. It passes all through all these things. And you can use the bottom limb of the sun on the horizon. You can use the top limb of the sun on the horizon. So that's eight, that's 16. And the sun does the same thing in the afternoon. So that's 32 times. And you can even make more. So 32, if you have two of these ones, it's 64. And you know, three, five, 10, 10, that's 320, okay. And my, the ordinary sex stance is a, a bit like a spanner. You can adjust it. But my sex is a bit more like a uh, socket set. All got the different ones, you know, fitting to the different altitudes. And here is the common sex stance, you know, like, it's a very complicated and delicate and expensive instrument, you know, and it has to be calibrated and you do this and then you turn it and it's there, mirror. And here is the sun coming reflects into this and goes into this telescope and goes into the eye. And then you've got this micrometer here and the split and this you have to look at it first and there is an index error and there's a side error and there's all the errors and the reflection of the through the atmosphere and there's the dip how high or above the sea level and uh, well there's many more you know but with my sextant you don't need all these things you know it's very simple so i show you how to do it You just take three small pieces of, this is for two, two glass extant. And you turn it like this, and you've got the spacer here. And this is glass, glass, glass. The reason why the spacer is glass too, is for thermal expansion. So when it gets hot, all expands. But if this also expands, it's the same geometry. And then when you do this, you just put a bit of epoxy in here. Or rather put it this way, you know. And put it epoxy in here, let it set, take off the tape, turn it around, put some epoxy in here. Mine is much smaller. And it's important to get this, you know, uh, parallel to its other. And when you use it, you look at the horizon. You never look at the sun because it's dangerous. It can get into your eye. But the horizon is okay. And to test it, you turn it up and down. And that's interesting because it's on double reflection and quadruple reflection. The double reflection gives a bright sun. The quadruple gives a dim sun. And uh, you see, because on a rolling boat, it's very difficult to measure an angle. And you have to do a, a hundredth of an angle, you know, a hundredth of a degree of angle. But when this mirror moves up, this moves up, so they compensate for each other. So what you lose in this mirror, mirror you gain in this one. So the sun is always steady on the horizon so it's amazing and on this extent you can see here you've got all these numbers 
the commercial angle and the tense, I said it's nothing. But instead, you make a little table. With the bright sun, this one is free, and on the other side is some. So it's just this and a little table. And there's three things that are together. The position, the time, and the altitude. If you knew two, you can calculate the third. And uh, first time you use this sextant, you knew the position. You watch the sun set to the horizon, you take the time. And you got time and position. You can make the altitude. And you, then you write down the number here on this one. In a way, you know, really, you don't have to write down all of it, but there is a formula, there's, there's a connection between them. And, um, yeah, so this is a little bit of a sextant, and usually I send it to make money, but now it took some time to invent this, so I suggest that rich people send me a lot of money, because it's a good idea, it's the most good idea in 200 years in the astronavigation. navigation. And poor people, well, they send what they can. If they can't send in one, they can subscribe to my channel. And this is a bit difficult, and you have to do experiment with it and try more, but start with a bit bigger ones, and just with this, with two things, and then try it out. And if there is a lot of questions, Maybe we can ask Peter to help to do another video. I can write down maybe the questions on the paper and answer them. So this is about the sextant. Small, simple, thing. So know this. You see how, how little space it takes against this one. It's not even noticeable. So if you make many, you can make, like I said, you can make 10. It's, it costs like really nothing. And you see it's a shade here, and this shade is from a welding glass. Like welding people, they don't like to look at these bright things. People don't like to look at the bright sun. So you can take that and you can cut it out into little things and you set to glue. And you just have to get the right brightness of it. And just for now, we thank Peter and we thank me and we say goodbye. Thank you. Hello friends, now many people say this takes too much time, but then I say the rich have Rolex, Irwin got the time. So poor man, well maybe he doesn't have the Rolex, but he got the time. So he can do many sex stands, he can build a small boat and all these things. So this is just a reminder. Don't worry about time, you know, some people say you have to hurry up for the boat. No, I don't have to hurry up. And what does did the mole say to, the, to Ratty? Well, if you read the book, Winds in the Willow, you know. Thank you. Hello, friends. Now we are in Peter's office. Uh, comfortable chair. And the one thing I forgot. Sextant is not a GPS. You can't look at it. What you time, each time you get the observation and made the calculations, you get the line of position. Then with the case of the sun, you wait like three hours, four hours. Then the sun is a new position. You get the new line of position. Where these cross each other, there you are. But it's like a bit like, he was a gardener, he was very good at planting two trees on a straight line. But when he's going to do free trees, it was more difficult because we're not always on a straight line. So if you take free positions, you got what I call a crooked hat. It's like a triangle and often it's like three miles, like five kilometers difference. And it takes a few hours to do it. But with the telephone, it's now like just maybe five meters, thousand times more good. And it's on a map too, so it's really very much better. But you know, when uh, 
the wall goes on and all the satellites go down and things like this. Uh, it's a different system and it's nice to know a bit about how the planets move, you know, and the uh, geographical position of the sun and the declination and all these things. So it takes a long time to learn all these things, but thank you. Hello friends, one more thing. This breeze mini sextants is important. So in Antarctica, there is now an island named after its inventor called Irwin Island. And if you make sextants, you, you will have a, com you can, the best one. He can get one week free on Irwin Island. The second one, he can get two weeks. And the third one, he can get three weeks. So this is just, you can see the island where it is, longitude and latitude on Wikipedia. Just look Irwin Island and you find it. And if you make a real good one, you might get the first prize of one week there. So thank you.